In this video, I will show you how to remove and replace a broken ribbon cable in the Konica Big Mini BM301. This is a moderately difficult repair and will require a soldering iron and proper screwdrivers. Your success will greatly depend on your skill with these tools. First, open the film compartment and remove the two screws that secure the hinge of the film back. Open up the battery compartment and remove the battery orientation sticker. Carefully peel off the adhesive holding the broken ribbon cable in place. At this point, the hinge assembly should easily detach from the body. Use a small screwdriver to remove the pins that serve as the axle in the door hinge. There are two small pins and one long pin, as well as a small rubber tube. There are several screws to remove from the back panel. I use a small flathead screwdriver to remove these. It is hard to see, but the film pressure plate is removed by lifting slightly and sliding away from the film window. Take note of the four springs that will be removed. They can easily get away from you. Remove the final screw to access the inside panel. There are three joints that will need to be desoldered. Remove the small foam pad and set it aside. Carefully remove the broken ribbon cable from the solder joints. Apply solder to the connection pads of the new ribbon cable. If you have a solder sucker, try to remove as much pre-existing solder as possible. Carefully and quickly connect the solder joints. Place the foam pad on the back of the glass as shown and reassemble the door panel. Replacing the hinge assembly can be tricky. Insert the long pin partially into the hinge mount piece and align with the door. Place the rubber tube and try to press the ribbon cable so that it conforms to the curve of the hinge so you can completely insert the pin and through the rubber tube. The two small pins can be inserted into the battery compartment door and the door can be affixed.
Now we can work on the body. There are two screws easily accessible on the outside of the body. There are another two screws under the battery door. With the four screws removed, gently pry the casing from the main body. Be careful not to touch the leads on the flash capacitor. Remove the two screws securing this ribbon bracket. Carefully remove the rest of the broken ribbon cable. Practice seating the hinge fixture into the body to become familiar with how it seats properly. Slide the ribbon cable underneath the capacitor and set the hinge assembly in place. I chose not to use the adhesive pad on the new ribbon cable in hopes of minimizing stress as it folds. This should make the ribbon cable last longer. Make sure the new ribbon cable aligns with the screw holes and reinstall the bracket, securing the connection. With that done, you can insert the battery and test that everything is working properly. Turn the camera on and toggle through all the modes and settings. Before attaching the casing, remove any dust from the viewfinder lens. While replacing the casing, be mindful of the ribbon cables at the bottom of the camera. Lightly press them into the body to keep them from getting caught on the casing and tearing. Once the casing is in place, insert the four remaining screws and test that everything functions properly. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave any questions in the comments.